Welcome back, it's Nolan Mathias from Mortgage 360, and today we are continuing our series on the best bank in Canada to get a mortgage, or more specifically in this case, the best non-bank, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the three biggest non-banks in Canada head to head against each other to figure out which one is the best option for non-bank options. And then coming up in a future video in the next couple of days here, we're gonna put Scotiabank, the winner of our best bank in Canada video against whoever the winner is today. And we're gonna put them head to head and see who takes the cake for the best lender in Canada to get a mortgage. But before we get into it, do me that favor, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. So as many people as possible can see this video. It really helps me a lot when you hit that like button. I cannot emphasize that enough. Okay, so let's get into it. Let's talk about the best non-bank lender in Canada. And here's the thing about non-bank versus bank lenders. Non-bank lenders are typically more competitive in their product offerings. They have better mortgages, better products, because they can't skate on their reputation. They can't skate on that you know, Royal Bank branding, they have to have something that is actually better than the big banks. These lenders, you know, non-bank lenders take up about 35 to 40% of the market share depending on the year. So they aren't small lenders either and they aren't a small piece of the market and they're doing prime business. So A grade, first class, first time home buyers, second time home buyers, third time home buyers, fourth time home buyers, fifth time home buyers, like the best of the best clients in the country are often finding themselves to non-bank lenders because like I said, the product is simply more competitive. The things that make them more competitive, one is you don't have to go in and fight with them yourself in order to get a mortgage from them. Most often, you can use a broker who can represent you and fight with them on your behalf in order to get the best rate. Number two is they often have significantly lower penalties than what the big banks offer. So if you need to get out of the mortgage or if you want to lower your rate or get into a different product, it becomes cheaper to do that. You have more flexibility and therefore more options, which often leads to saving money. And quite often they even have additional features things like home warranties where if the water heater craps out or if the furnace stops working or if one of your appliances explodes you can get that replaced at a very reasonable cost because you simply selected a mortgage provider that needed to have that extra product that extra feature that is a benefit to you in order to get you to actually take it versus that you know comfortable bank mortgage that you would normally take you also get the same added benefits of the Canadian regulation system so these companies are regulated just like the banks are they have the same rules same guidelines especially if they're doing insurance mortgages and they're ultimately some of the safest lenders in the world because of that Canadian framework because what makes a Canadian bank super safe and super reliable isn't so much the banks themselves it's the regulation that Canada has in place to protect you the consumer as a Canadian and these non-bank lenders have that same protection for you that the big banks have they also do one thing and one thing only which is sell mortgages which makes them better at doing mortgages because that's all they do. They aren't trying to sell you a credit card. They aren't trying to sell you a line of credit. They aren't trying to open you a bank account or sell you investments. Like this is the one thing they do and they do it really, really well because they're focused on it. So that's why a lot of clients end up choosing non-bank lenders in order to get their mortgage. So the three that we're gonna cover today are Merrick's, MCAP, and First National. These are kind of the three big players. Merrick's is actually owned by a company called Paradigm Quest, which is the company that backs a lot of the white label products in the country. So if you've got a mortgage with a place like Mortgage Alliance or Dominion Lending Centers or Verico or Merrick's or Lendwise or any number of other companies, Manulife is another one of them, there's a good chance that Paradigm Quest is behind that mortgage. But their primary lender is what is called Merrick's Financial. And Merrick's was actually a game changer in the industry because they were one of the first lenders to come out and offer mortgage brokers trailer fees, which is why a lot of mortgage brokers encourage their clients to use Merrick's Financial. Merrick's also takes really, really good care of clients on renewal offering them whatever their lowest rate is at the time. Which means in five years when your mortgage comes up for renewal, you don't have to apply at another place, go to a different lender, sign a whole bunch of documents. Merrick's will basically just say, here, this is our best rate. We're gonna take care of you, sign the dotted line and away you go. Now using our criteria from the best bank in Canada video, the criteria about how fast they will let you pay off your mortgage and ultimately how little interest they will allow you to play. All of these lenders do very, very well in this category. They all have great prepayment privileges. Merrick's, for example, is 20% prepayment privilege from a lump sum perspective, so you can pay 20% off the mortgage off anytime. You can also increase your payments by 20% per year. Now, Merrick's has one little quirk, and that is if you combine these two options together, they cannot exceed 20% of the original mortgage amount. So you can basically use one or the other or both, but you can't pay off more than 20% of your mortgage per year. The other two lenders that we're gonna talk about are a little bit different. They allow you to go beyond that. Second lender we wanna talk about is MCAP, and MCAP is is arguably one of the biggest lenders in the country. They also have a secondary company called RMG. Both of those companies operate with similar mortgage products. 
Both of them have no frills products. In fact, all these lenders have no frills products. You have to understand the difference between a discount mortgage and a non-discount mortgage. In this video, we're gonna talk about the regular mortgages, not the discount mortgages. And oftentimes when you see a really, really, really low rate published, it's coming from MCAP. They are probably the leading lender when it comes to low rate discount mortgages in the country. And they do a huge volume because of it. Now MCAP has some really great prepayment privileges. You can pay 20% lump sum or increase your payments by 20% per year or you can do both. So if you increase your payments by 20% in year one, and then another 20% in year two, and then another 20% in year three, there's no limit to how much they will let you increase your payments and also use your lump sum payments. That's in contrast to Merrick's, which limits it to 20% of your original mortgage amount. MCAP is also an innovator when it comes to products. So they're one of the few monoline lenders or mortgage specialty lenders in Canada that has lines of credit. They also have the cashback mortgages that are so often popular, and they're a leader in the industry. Usually they are one of the first movers when it comes to lowering rates or when it comes to creating an innovative and new product. Most of the lenders follow what MCAP does. And that's great for the consumer because what that does is it creates more choice. And when you can get a bank-like mortgage from a lender like MCAP, that's a really good thing because ultimately you're getting advice from a broker, You're going to be allowed to have the broker make changes for you throughout the mortgage and you're probably going to have lower penalties and an overall lower cost of borrowing. But when you look at our criteria of the best lender in Canada being the lender that will allow you to pay off the mortgage the fastest and pay the lowest amount of interest, MCAP isn't quite the winner. They're close, they're amazing, they're close but not quite there. The non-bank lender that in our opinion is the number one non-bank lender to get a mortgage from in Canada is First National. They are an exceptional lender and they have very similar prepayment privileges to that of Scotiabank, which won our bank battle. So to go back and remind you what those features are, you can pay off 15% in a lump sum every year without penalty. You can increase your payments by 15% per year and they have that magical double up payment. That payment that allows you to double any payment you like at any time, which ultimately is the number one factor when it comes to paying off your mortgage as fast as possible. In fact, these mortgages, both Scotiabanks and First Nationals, are the only mortgages in Canada where you can reasonably pay off your mortgage in four years. The other thing we love about First National, at least in Alberta and the prairies, this isn't true across the country because there's different underwriting centers and different lenders operate well in different areas. But in Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, First National is the fastest when it comes to underwriting. They make the most common sense decisions and it's just an easier process than getting a mortgage anywhere else. And full disclosure, most of the mortgages that we do in our company end up going through First National because of that ease of use, because of how competitive they are with their interest rates, and because of how good the product is. They're quite simply the best non-bank lender in Canada. That being said, if you're getting a mortgage at MCAP, if you get a mortgage at Merrick's, you cannot go wrong. But we just think First National edges them out just a little bit. So First National, best non-bank lender in Canada. In the next video, we're going to put Scotiabank and First National head to head. We're going to talk about why you would choose a bank over a non-bank lender and why you would choose a non-bank lender over a bank lender. And the answer is it's different for everyone and we're going to explain why in the next video. So if you found this information interesting, if you found it useful, if you found it any of the above, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and please smash that like button so that more people like you can see this video. Thanks.